Hi there, I'm Jason DeSalvo. This is my partner Joey Loricella from Federa Guitars, and we are here today to talk to you about the Monarch 4 Standard Fretless. This is one of our newest babies. Um, just got introduced this year, which is 2013, and the Monarch 4 Standard was meant to be able to put a fretless in the hands of people that wanted to play a Federa that had really great tone, great playability at a lower price point, uh, we do that by building them in batches, so we may build 10 or 15 of these at one time, and then we make them available, and by doing that, it enables us to gain a few economies of scale and pass them on at a lower price point. So this particular instrument, 34-inch um, scale, four-string, as you see, 19, um, millimeter. 19 millimeter spacing. Joey's going to take you through some of the woods, some of the electronics options. Okay. All right, this particular instrument has a flamed... Clara wall on the top, uh, ebony fingerboard, 24 frets with lines. It's available without lines. Has a one piece red oak neck, one piece walnut body. These uh, electronics on this, on this uh, Mono 4 standard fretless features a master volume, active passive tone roll off, which works when the bass is active or passive, a balance pot. So you can sort of like a pickup selector, you could uh, use, go forward, the neck pickups on, in the center both pickups, and go rear and the rear pickups on. Uh, active treble, bass, mid-range, cut and boost. Active passive switch and a coil tap switch. Put the coil tap switch up, and it puts the bass in single coil mode. Put it down, and it's in humbucking mode. This is the Monarch 4 standard fretless. And uh, these, uh, Available at a, at a great price. They sound great. Hi, my name is Matthew Garrison, and I'm here to uh, demo this Monarch uh, Standard Four String. Um, another beautiful instrument, uh, Brooklyn made. I'm going to take you through some of the uh, little details on this instrument, the, the tonal details. This is normally how I would dial it in. I'm just have, I'm in uh, rear pickup mode here. Uh, active preamp, no coil tap, flat, uh, treble, mid, and bass are all flat, and the tone control is all is all the way off. Volume all the way up. All right, so from there, probably what I would do is, uh, in this case, I might dial in some of the low end, so just so you get a, so I'll let you hear the, the, that's flat, that's all the way up, considerable difference, you might not want to dial that all the way in, because it's going to blow somebody's speakers at some point. Or the front of house might go out too. You never know. These are so powerful, these instruments. So anyway, uh, that's another thing. Mid-range, I don't think you need to mess with so much on this instrument. Uh, treble, you could, I, maybe that's... Okay, this is mid-range. This is treble. Okay, it's a little bit more crunch. I just rolled the treble off. Okay, and it's still rear pickup. Rear pick Let me go to both pickups are full on now. Again, we could try the front pickup too, see how that sounds.
Sounds beautiful there too. Let's try the coil tap, see what goes on there. Again, everything's flat here. I'm gonna pull up the bass a little bit because I'm basically kind of going through what I would normally do with an instrument when I start kind of messing around with it. Pull up the bass a little bit. Maybe in this case, pull that back a little bit, put a little bit more treble for some more detail. See a little bit more mid range. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of running through some of the parameters here. I'm not sure what else we could do, is maybe. Sounds actually quite beautiful. This is an incredibly balanced, beautiful instrument. It's got everything in there. Um, I would get one of these in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. 